thing I love about the DC characters, specifically the Trinity, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, is that they're icons, the symbols mean something. The Superman S, the Batman symbol, and the Wonder Woman shield, all of that is very iconic, and it means a lot to people. Just the other day, I was driving down the street, I saw two different people wearing Superman shirts, and I see more people wearing Wonder Woman shirts now because of the movie and Batman shirts all the time. They're not just characters people love, they mean something. What they do represents something to people. I'm a big fan of Batman. I started out with Detective Comics. Batman doesn't have any superpowers, so I find him relatable. For Superman, it's not just about being this man of steel. I'll take the ones on the right. It's about him being that beacon of hope. It's about him inspiring others. It's about him giving people faith that tomorrow will be better. Oh, that you can't pick amongst your children? <laughs> Obviously, uh, I have an affinity for Wonder Woman. She completes the Trinity, and that character is amazing. You can say that Superman represents truth, justice, in the American way, but really he represents hope, and Wonder Woman represents love and compassion and truth, but you can boil it down to love. And then you look at Batman, and he represents justice. So they all have these great elements of heroism that are embodied and defined so vividly in these different characters. As a little kid, I looked at comics in a sort of very black and white way. I liked the idea of just superheroes and superpowers and the plain little kid fantasy way. The first time I looked at them in an allegorical way or in a more complicated way, in a way that, that they could tell more complicated stories that could reflect stories of our own, was when I looked at Batman. In particular, the Frank Miller treatment of Batman, that was something that I thought was really complicated and grown up. Batman specifically is sort of the dark, brooding version of reluctant superhero. And in fact, not even a superhero, just a hero. He's just a guy who has worked very hard and through his own physical prowess and more importantly, his cleverness and design of all the props and gags and gadgets that he invents and gets to use has made himself into a character who is on par with the superheroes who do have extra human capabilities. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. I think a lot of fans at some point in their reading career go, why is Batman part of this team? When you talk about taking on these intergalactic threats, they all have amazing powers, and Batman's like looking for a place to throw his grappling hook around so he can fly up to join in the party. Then you realize, oh, he's there because he's the most brilliant strategist in the group, and he's thought of every contingency. I think Batman in particular has stayed really relevant and resonant because he is, on the one hand, like a superhero, and on the other, hand just like us. He feels vulnerable. He believes if you cut him he is a real person on the inside and yet he is super. And so there's all kinds of contradictions inherent in that that make for really interesting storytelling. You know you can't do this forever. I can barely do it now. Steppenwolf. This is the job. When he started his journey, he thought he figured everything out, which he didn't. And then obviously Superman died and he felt such a huge guilt for it. And I think it haunted him in his dreams. There's always a casualty of war. Superman makes an extremely noble act. So he's the inspiration to both Batman and Diana, and therefore he's our inspiration. The reason they go on this journey is to make sure the Earth that he was trying to protect stays that way. I'm gonna take out that tower and knock down that shield. Don't, don't wait for me, just do the job. In this movie, you see Batman starts to work in a group, cares for people, he becomes softer and softer, and I think that he understands that he can't do this by himself. It's fun to watch Bruce with this new attitude work collaboratively and someone that's been working alone and isolated from others in so many ways in his vigilantism have to be part of a team. But it's good to see you playing well with others. <gasps> Just like a bat. I dig it. Maybe temporary. I would say that he is the first person to be truly inspired by Superman and he's continuing the legacy of Superman with bringing together the Justice League.
He truly is the voice, he truly is the founder and team leader of the Justice League. I don't recognize this world. I don't have to recognize it. I just have to save it. It's been amazing to see Wonder Woman evolve. We got a little glimpse of her in BVS, and you could tell she was mysterious, but she was really strong-willed. And in the Wonder Woman movie, we find out how she kind of becomes Wonder Woman. So in this movie, we get to see more of who she is. As much as Bruce wants to step up and take on this new role, he's a little clumsy at that. He's not been a team player. He's not been a leader. And for as much as Diana's also been on her own and been acting sort of in isolation for so long, there's a spirit about her that is much more collaborative and that becomes much more of a leader. And I think the two of them together bolster one another. They shore up one another and become a great partnership. You're risking lives. Theirs and maybe countless more. We don't have time for a control group. Is it a risk? Yes, but it's necessary. Why, because of your guilt? Diana in the comics has great relationships with all of Justice League, but her relationship with Batman specifically goes a little deeper than the others. She is often the voice of reason when he's emotionally driven, doing something that maybe is not in the best interest of the team. Love writing her, it makes her very tricky to write because you've gotta put your mindset in somebody who is beyond thoughtful, beyond strategic, beyond smart, and the nuance of the character is unlike any other character because of where she comes from and what her mission is and what she believes in. She's just a character that is an inspiration. For me, it was really important that she would be the glue of the team, that we would track the same character that we established in the Wonder Woman movie. One of the most beautiful qualities are the fact that she just cares for people in the most sincere way. So I made a point out of the importance of Diana being this glue to the team, that she would make each and every one of them, even if it's in small moments, feel stronger and loved and capable. I know it's frightening, but if you go under, I promise we will pull you back out. The Justice League is far bigger than Diana, but for me, I think that the most magical moments are the ones, even when the stakes are really high and there's so much tension and there's no time and the pace is going forward really quick, that she finds a moment to make them feel better, to make them feel capable. Remember what you told me about Hart and the hangar? I bet you thought I wasn't this thing. Thank you. I think a lot of these guys, because of their special powers and maybe feeling partially either ashamed or trying to hide them, were kind of alone. It was a secret they were concealing. And now with the Justice League, they get to share their powers. So I think that there's something really comforting and bonding in that. That's what makes these movies so appealing to me because I can't relate to a superhero if it's only for its powers, because I'm not one. I don't know how it feels to have greatest power. And this is something that I really was aware of and it was important for me that we bring something that is easy to relate to. She's vulnerable and she's sincere and she cares and she's warm and she's loving. These are qualities that all of us have on my lead. So for me, these qualities are what makes Wonder Woman more interesting. The death of Superman in comic books was the biggest thing that had ever happened. And people were really upset at the time. I remember I was upset at the time. I was like, wait, I love Superman. Everyone wore these black armbands with a Superman symbol on them. And everyone felt the weight of his death. You saw funerals for Superman and felt like the DC Universe was missing something big. And I think people outside of comics crave Superman to come back too. They're like, you can't take Superman away. And ultimately when he did come back, it was a celebration. It's a classic story, isn't it? The old death and rebirth of the king. He's the genesis, he's the first superhero. He's like the alpha and omega of our pantheon. So we need him, we need Superman. I believe in truth, but I'm also a big fan of justice. In my opinion, this is the first time we see Superman in truth. 
We have seen the origin story of Superman. We have seen the downfall and doubt of Superman. And finally, with this rebirth, we see the true Superman. The Superman who is confident and sure and full of hope and joy. He feels more grounded in the Earth, actually. He feels more and more that he belongs to the planet, and the planet belongs to him. He feels a part of it. That's one of the great things about these stories having continuity. The characters progress and continue to expand and fulfill their arcs as the movies progress. So to be able to bring him back and to be able to bring him back in the right way and for the right reasons, it's epic. I'm back now, and I'm gonna make things right. The thing about Henry is that he loves the character so much and he's read so many comics and he's lived this character. His dog's named Cal. And just like us, he wants to bring that core, hopeful, larger than life, yet very human Superman to the screen. We've all been working closely together to get to the core of who Superman is. He will inspire, be joyful, and give hope to anyone who's watching. The thing is really interesting is you could say, any situation, what would Superman do? And you'd do the right thing. And I think to people who love these characters, it means much more. Wonder Woman isn't just a character people love, it's a character that people embody, a character people want to be, a character that people aspire to be. And I think that's what Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman do, is that they go beyond just being characters that are cool. They're characters that are important. That's why I think the Trinity is above and beyond anybody else, and it always will be.